Hey, welcome back, sports fans. Now, since you dissect all the electrical stuff, we'll get into some really juicy stuff. So what we're doing is door locks. Now, some ambos don't have these door locks, but the trick with these door locks is they have a steel mechanism and a spring. So what this is, is see, this one's seized up because when you, you can't, it won't lock or nothing like this one, right? See how this one is? See how this lock is? It's, it should lock like this one, right? And then you just open it like this one here works really good. Now what I did was when I come down the other day, I soaked the living daylights with uh, sea foam, right? And just let it sit. And out of all the doors, we have one, two doors. These two doors here are the only ones that don't work. So I'm not going to show you the process because that's like boring. What do you have to do is heat this up with a tiger with a little propane torch, just a little bit. You don't need a whole bunch and get it moving and then put the sea foam to it. I'll show you when I get it done. Now you see these stupid little things? These are a must. You don't necessarily need this stuff, but you need a must. Whenever you get steel and aluminum, you get electrolysis. I'm not going to tell you what it's about. You check it out. You just go on to Google, put electrolysis, it'll explain it all. Basically what it does is it's a reaction between the metal and the aluminum and the corrode. So you have to have a, a membrane in between it. So like a piece of tape, duct tape, anything like that will work. So don't throw that away, you'll need that. So I'll free this up and I'll get back to you what, what it's like after I free it up. Because his locks are like, I don't know what they are. I think the last time we looked like 150 bucks. Like, you know, I'm a, I don't come cheap, but I think I can fix that up for a lot less than that. So, now you just gotta watch it. You know, you gotta heat this up. Okay. Now you don't. There's a springs in there, so you don't want it to get too hot. You just want to get it just above warm, right? And then you just work it back and forth like this, right? See how it's moving now? Now you tie the latch shut so you got movement okay look at that look at that jesus i tell you you know you don't have to i don't get paid for this but if you want to make a donation of cherry or raspberry coke just send the money to paula and it's all good <laughs> and then you just soak that down when it's warm because when it's warm the heat will suck that sea spray right in there right and then you just work it back and forth back and forth and then finally it'll it'll just free up because what is a little latch in there right see look at that now look at that just as free as a bird look at that just free as a bird now okay there you go you just saved yourself 150 bucks and it all cost you was a cherry coke look at that so that's what we do you just do that to the latches usually what it is is the bottom ones the bottom ones on the doors and ones because that's where all the garbage gets and it falls down and nobody oils it but now we get this freed up we got it oiled and we got sea foam in it. It'll probably be as good till whenever. Because now we're aware of it, right? The people that were running it probably weren't aware of it. So they wouldn't spray it. On the doors. Now there's a couple things with the Ambo doors. These doors are very expensive. Let's put it that way. They're very well built. Now this door handle we disconnected. So we're going to put a plate over there. These windows. You're going to say, how the hell you get them out? Well, I'll tell you how you get them out. You have to take this rubber off here and the windows are, are urethane into the frame. So it's got glass guy all over it. So just so you know. Now, getting back to the door locks, we freed up the bottom one, okay? Now, the doors have a double double lock, okay? So you go one, okay? But see the, lock, the door is still open, right? That's one lock right there. And then you put it all the way in and it goes tight. The door should go tight. You should have to push on the door a little bit to get it up against the seal, right? That tells you it's got second, first and second. So the first and second latch, right? So you'll see that one and then two. Just remember that, it's very important. Now. If you want to adjust the door, if it's, you want to adjust the door in and out, you move this pin here, this pin will move. 
forward and backwards and you can adjust you can adjust these doors so they're super tight like you have to put a 300 pound woman up against them to shut the thing so you can do that by that door and squashing the rubber but you don't really need it as soon as it squash the rubber is all right these are panic opens is what they are if you can't reach this or something you just these are all tied together the top and the bottom are tied together so you only have to hit one right you shut the door and you get the bottom one and the door opens or the top one it don't matter this will open both of them too now <clears throat> on the amble it has if it has one lock electric door locks what it is it's got a plunger on here and it attaches now this one we removed because uh we don't want this door to unlock because she has no way to unlock it if this door locks from the outside, we have no way to unlock it. There's no door lock on it, right? This door has no lock. You can only open this door from the inside. Remember, I told you that the last video. So, anyway, that's the story on that. That's why we took the door lock out. Now, this one I'm going to free up. This is the only one I got left. This one here, we'll show you. I'm not going to show you the whole thing. But what this is, this is an electric door lock, right? And you hit the plunger, and it locks, right? So... Just to show you how it works is this. You take our little trusty battery pack here. These don't take that much power to run. Okay, so okay, so that one there's open. And that one's locked. See? Open. And lock. Oh. Lock. See? That's how easy. What we want to do is we want to put in a way so that she can get in from the shower outside. Because remember, she did not have to do that before because it was all plugged up. So what we're going to do is cut a hole in the door, that panel, right here. All she has to do is just, and out she goes. I'll put a little fancy thing on there so she don't cut herself, and that way she can get out. Now, the door locks still work the same, because you don't have to worry about the electric door locks. The door locks are hooked to, hook to the manual one. So if you unlock the manual one, there's no way the electric one can override it, right? The manual one overrides electric. Yeah, I'll leave that with locked, you, right? It's totally seized right up. The only thing that works is this latch, but it doesn't really work, do anything because it won't lock. So I'm not going to show you. I'm going to just heat it up and you know, free it all up, and we'll save this one, believe me. Pay attention, sports fans, especially the female ones, because it's the the question I get most is, I uh, can't do that, uh, can't do that, uh, can't do that. Bullshit. Look at this. This is what Princess did. I told her to <laughs> cut a hole through the door, right through that panel, and then I give her the saw and I give her the grinding wheel, and look at that. No blood. She did an awesome <laughs> job, right? So what we're going to do with this is we're going to put this up on here and just eat your heart out, sports fans. See that? Goes up there like that. You just put your finger in there and open the door. Isn't that stupid? So that's almost the end of the door. Oh, i got to show you that one lock. I have one lock that was just seized solid. Now, if anybody was around that wasn't watching, they would have just took it right across the street. But you know, the old bullheaded asshole, he's going to... I got it. I got it freed up. So we'll show, we'll show you the freed up latch at the end. So just remember, women, when they say you can't do it, just remember what Bad says. Bullshit. Okay, we got all the doors fixed. They all lock. Electric door locks. Now remember the manual key overrides electric, so we don't have to worry about that. We might down the road hook them back up. Okay, now go back about... Five, three, four months ago, when I first mentioned I was coming to Wayburn to fix this fine unit, and she was talking about putting a ladder on and steps and all that crap, and I said, "Oh, how to do it?" And everybody looked at me like I have a third eye. Okay, don't pay attention. This is what I was talking about, right there. Now, why and not? 
tell would I put a ladder on the outside when I don't want none of the doors to open from the outside. It's a safety thing, right? So why would I put a ladder on the outside? That's just crazy. So you just put them on there and I put a handrail up there and up you go. This one, the three are to get you to the roof and this one here is just for a little bit of security. And it works like hot down. It just works like, like that, unbelievably. I'll do it because she's running the camera. But you just grab this and we start off with the right foot on the right peg. Up here, up there, up there. And you're on the roof. Simple. Well, I have a ladder hanging off there. So that's what I was talking about, security. Now we cut this door out and we put it in, you see? You stick your finger in there and boop, open she goes from the shower. Now what's the chance we're using it? Maybe slim to none, but at least she's got that option. So that's the door locks. All the door locks work. And we did get that one seat. That one that was really seized, we got that baby working. That's like winning the lottery, you know what I mean? So I'll leave that with you. I hope you get something out of it and talk to you later.